Okay. <clears throat> Namekano sent uh, his unknown gunman to attack me last night. Perhaps he thought uh, my security men were like uh, the Nigerian security men in Kanawawe and uh, intimidated them. Who will see his men and run away with their guns and uh, they will enter the offices, their stations and burn them. <laughs> it's very, very funny. It's very, very funny. You sent you are un unknown gunmen to attack who was with you. I don't know what's just about you, about anything like that. I, you know, I know you very well. And I know that you are an inconsequential fellow. The, 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 the most cowardly person on earth. I know very well. I brought you up. A guadra kushimil. Oh, you know, I'm here. You can see. I'm sitting on in my night down. I slept here. I didn't come into this place this morning. Show them. I can come. You sent your tag work men to attack me. Tag work men to attack me. If there is anybody that should know me better, it should be now the camera. When I opened the radio for you, you started using it to castigate me. You came to do your traditional marriage in Nigeria. The, the wedding I gave you money to, to do. I was the person that gave you 450,000 naira to marry, to get your wife, to do introduction and all that. But when you came to Nigeria, because you were castigating me, you told your sister, who is in the police up to today, to organize mobile policemen for you, to give you security, to provide security for your wedding. Your sister brought all panel of uh, mobile policemen and carried the wedding ceremony. With a crowd, with every ten, all the security men, SSS, then they were there. I sent my men to arrest you. My men came to the gathering in the presence of the so called mobile policemen. Came to the high table where you were and took you out, put in the car and brought you before my presence in a way. I kept you for five days just to teach you a lesson that was really bigger than your thing. I never intended to kill you. I have never killed anybody. It's not my business to kill people. Moreover, those who say they are fighting for Biafra, I can never kill anybody who is professing Biafran freedom. I can never. I just wanted to teach you that the so-called mobile police you gathered through your sister cannot provide you security if I want to do that. But you are saying the biggest mistake I made was that I left you alive, that I didn't kill you. That was what you are saying. What you did last night is funny. I'm not a nine world, you can intimidate. I'm not a Nigerian security man, you can intimidate. Why are you all going to bruise or she will be there? Can you pump with there? All these things you are doing today, we are things you learn probably from me. Okay, she, blah, blah, blah. My men that came to arrest you in your wedding, were they armed? They were not armed, but they brought it to me. To me. You know, way. Why I'm doing this video is to tell those who say that 
kwa mo for Biafra. By how much Nambikan is agitating for Biafra? If you are agitating for Biafra, to attack was wicked should be the last thing you can do. Because I'm the originator of the struggle. To attack me will be the last thing you can think of. 30 cents, you are meant to attack me. I just want to tell our fellow dear friends, I've been saying it right from the world go that Nam the Kanu was recruited by those he's working for up to today. That he is not working for Biafra. That's what I really want to do to tell them. You are just having problem with your employers. You went into armed struggle. You want to you think I go into armed struggle? I will never. You can't put me. You can't push me into armed struggle. I have no need for that. If I go into armed struggle, the scenario will change. The narrative will change. What pains me is that you are not here, and you know it. That if you are in Nigeria here, you will never do what you are doing today. I will always see immediately. Although I try it. Come into Nigeria, get all your clownish uh, ESN or whatever the answer. Stay in one place. If I don't arrest you, you know that I'm not trying for Wazuriki. You are hiding in one corner in well, wherever you are. And all these even are no hell more crafish who are making noise on the internet. Because you play outside. You are not here. If you are here, you can't talk to Wazuriki anyhow. I, I show you. I show you who I am. Don't worry. I will not talk to you again. Continue in your glorification, uh, Commander in Chief, uh, commanding the governors, commanding Nigeria. The other day you said the the bureau of furniture should not have his security outfit. If he has, if he does, he will do this and do that and do that, kill him, do this. Is he not having his security outfit today? And no, we people not having their security outfit today. We are just making him out. Think you can intimidate the co-governors. You can intimidate them. I am the only person that can tell you what I want to say. You can never intimidate me. And of course you know it. Who are you? I am a nobody. Any time I, I make any statement, I always describe you as a nobody. Because I know you to the end. You are a nobody. Eh? You are a nobody. Eh? If you are somebody, will you run? Only one attack at uh, your, your own time. You run away. Do you know how many attacks I have had since I started? This struggle, 20 years ago. How many attacks? How many people? But only one attack, you run away. From there, you are instigating holy guns here. I'm only sorry for these holy guns you are using. You call them unknown government, but today they are not unknown again. It's over the social media. Your men are confessing. You are so called unknown government. That man confesses, it's not unknown government, no more unknown. Kodiwa, Bojenta, Atono Orenshi. I don't have any other thing to tell you. But if you think you are a man, come here, come to, come to the east. Or even if you don't want to stay in the east, come to Nigeria, stay in any part of Nigeria. If you do this thing you are doing, for one week, I don't personally arrest you. You know that I'm a nobody. You think you can intimidate me as you are intimidating other people? Try it and at that time. You will, you will receive a, a, different, a different information. Unknown government my food.